What's up YouTube, it's your boy Deacon Do Dirty here again to bring you some big news. A second trailer has been dropped, not the world reveal, but another second teaser trailer. And it's pretty much all but confirming, or pretty much confirming that in campaign and multiplayer, there will be robotic soldiers. If you watch the trailer, I'm not going to show it here, but if you watch the trailer, you're showing soldiers near the very end with uh, robotic arms and legs. Because of the way the thermal works, you can't see their arms and legs showing that those aren't human parts of their body anymore. But yeah, it's kind of exciting news. It pretty much eliminates the idea of exosuits, which we kind of already knew. But it also confirms the idea of super soldiers, meaning they can do super things. Not sure what they can do yet, that hasn't been revealed. Also, some other news. This is all speculation, nothing's been confirmed. It's just people having hopes. Oh, if you notice, if you go to PlayStation's YouTube channel, they put the trailer up. But, kind of weird thing is, on the trailer title, it only says PS4. Now, I mean, this may mean nothing, and they've already said that it will be last gen, but a lot of people are speculating that this means it'll only be on current gen PS4, or PlayStation-wise anyway. Because if you go to other videos on that PlayStation's channel, that are on PS3 and the title will say PS4, PS3, PS Vita, but on this trailer for Black Ops 3, it only says PS4. Other things that like the people are speculating about is that PS4 or PlayStation dropped the trailer first, they tweeted about it first, so a lot of people are speculating that maybe, you know, this is a pipe dream, that maybe PlayStation has exclusive rights, like Xbox has had forever, where they get the DLC first. Now this would be amazing because I'm a PS4 player. I had thought about getting the Xbox One for the DLC exclusives. But, I mean, this happens. This would be amazing. I would be very happy. I mean, this system has sold more than Xbox One, so it made nothing but sense to do this on Activision's part, but Xbox has sold their soul to, play to Activision to get these rights because they know this is the, one of the best selling games on the market but like I said this uh, three big things are happening right now two things are like I said mainly rumors and speculation hopefully will come true I'm not sure because I feel like they put it on current gen only that'll help keep from holding back the game from being running well because it's last gen now is kind of holding it back even though they say maybe another developer is making it but not sure and as far as the exclusive rights for PS4 like I said that's a pipe dream but it would be amazing and then the most important part like I said we get the video robotic soldiers and like I said nobody knows what that means we just know that there's gonna be robotic soldiers and hopefully they can make it into a good thing I feel like Treyarch even though I said the game will fail I feel like they're going to make it work and they'll like I said hope like I said before another video do what's right but anyway if you're excited about the big news and yeah, oh by the way now team deathmatch has been on advanced warfare nothing to do with black ops 3 if team deathmatch has been moved up to 100 kills because people complain about the games ending too soon because it's so fast paced and you can't get a lot of kills in team deathmatch like you used to in other games so it has been moved up to 100 kills anyway if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, peace out.